and howdy everybody and thanks for tuning in to today's video. Today we're going to be covering um, how to add a new feature, alright? Uh, so it's going to be really cool um, and uh, first of all over here I'm using, um, uh, let's see, I'm using a Linux machine always on top, right? I'm using Google Calendar because it helps me, helps me stay organized. So. Here's this SK enable auto approving. A lot of clients that are installing the Shopify app are asking for their posts to be auto approved. So let's go ahead and actually get started. The first thing we need to do is actually open up two terminals, all right? One for the proxy app and one for the admin app. All right, so let's do, go ahead and do ngrok HTTP 3000. That's gonna run with no problems. Uh, wait a second, you know what, let's just do the more important one is, is this one first. Ngrok HTTP, all right, triple seven, quadruple seven, file new tab. Ngrok HTTP 3000. All right, let's see, ah, boom. Okay, of course it's not gonna work, why? Because Ngrok limits you to one Ngrok connection if you don't have a pay paid plan. That's why in the, in the beginning of the course, I believe I said that it's, it's recommended to just get an Ngrok subscription. Um, in this case, because I, um, because I do want to actually um, add some new features to the app, I think it does make sense to just go ahead and get, get, get a new subscription. Otherwise, it just takes forever. Every single time, um, uh, you know, every single time that, that, that you want to work and you want to switch between the admin and the, and the proxy app, you have to reset the, your ngrok URL like a million times. It's just not worth my time. Let's see if let's see if Engra can actually solve the issue for us. So I'm gonna go ahead into Engra over here. Ah, wait a second. Did I even connect my account? Maybe I didn't. Let's see what Engra tells me. Your account, Alicia Kramer, is limited to one simultaneous. Uh, it looks like I did actually connect my account. Uh, that they give you the, um, the the command over there as well. Um, let's see. All right. So I do actually have to go into into. Uh, into the status, let's see, billing, okay. Upgrade plan, yeah, uh, $5 a month. Okay, good enough. Wait, basic, yearly billing, $5 per month. Um, let's see, $60 billed yearly, per user yearly billing. Well, I don't want it, I don't want a yearly plan. Yearly billing, oh crap. They have the most confusing UX ever. Okay, interesting. Ah, basic is only gives you yearly billing. Okay, look at what they do there. Talk about, talk, what's this called? Dark patterns or something? I want to try, right? For the $5 a month, obviously everybody's gonna click on that and then they say, oh, you only have the yearly billing option. For the pro, all of a sudden I have my monthly billing. All right, so whatever. I'm only willing to pay them 10 bucks for now. All right, 10 bucks per user per month. Good enough. Upgrade. All right. Thank you. If billing resulted in a charge to your credit card, you will receive an email. All right, perfect. Let's go back into, into, uh, into here and run it again. Beautiful. This time it does work, so they, they have a good database. Good. All right, awesome. So uh, fine, we got Ngrok running on on port three thousand. Uh, sorry, on port uh, quadruple seven for the proxy app, and port three thousand for the admin app over here. Let's continue here. All right, so um, right, we actually want to open up. Uh, oh, and now we actually need to run these apps. So new tab. I'm gonna first run the proxy app. CD proxy. Oh, CD desktop, CD SK, CD proxy. Oh, CD social king, CD proxy. Okay, LS, okay, nodeman start. All right, so now I have my proxy app running, but I also want to run my, um, my admin app, right? So the store admin app is in the, the Shopify admin dashboard. I'm actually going to go into, I think, Tribe app, all right, tribe app dot ad slash admin, just to show you guys what's being discussed over here. But bottom line is that you need to have, um, all right, here, right, if I go into apps here, then I should have my social king dev app, good. 
And when I click it, of course, it's not running right now. Okay, it's going to give us an error, tunnel not found. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and go in here. And what are we going to say here? Um, in my proxy app, I, I already ran known man start. Now I also need to go into my admin app. But my admin app has two folders, the admin front end and the admin back end. See the admin front end within my, uh, sorry, admin back end and npm start. And I also need to add CD into my admin, admin front end. Okay. The admin front end is the next JS app and npm run dev. Okay. Now everything should be working, but um, there's one other thing that needs to be done. I need to take my ngrok URL, uh, let's see, for 3000 over here. And I need to go into my partner's account here. And on Linux, you press Control Shift C. That way you don't X out of your ngrok thing. God forbid. Okay, partners.shopify.com. I go to log in. So you can see there's a lot of different terminals just for the setup over here. All right, Social King dev here, right? And app setup. All right. And here's my URL over here. All right, cool. Here's my installation URL in case I need that. Save. And now I have my admin app set up. Okay. And since we're already at it, let's just also set up our proxy app as well, just so that you understand the first, the full flow of setting up over here. Okay. Command Shift C. Okay. Shift C. All right, cool. Now I've got my that. I've got my online store. I go into manage and finally I take this URL and I paste it in there and we are done. All right, guys, cool. So I press save and now I have both of them set up. I can refresh this. Hopefully it will work. All right, I'm going to move that to the side and I'm also going to check if I can run my um, tribe app dot slash community slash connect. This is the proxy app over here. All right. Okay, cool. The proxy app is working. And okay, on the left side, we should be able to also see, uh, let's see, uh, the admin app running. This is the admin app logs over here, running on port 3000. Let's just double check that everything works. And if everything works, we'll just uh, pause the video for now. Uh, just to verify. Okay, cool. Everything, everything works. Oh, wait a second. It redirected me over here. All right. It redirected me to the sign up page over here. Um, and why did it do that? Probably because I don't have a charge, a charge ID. Okay. And we'll talk about that in another video. Um, so if you have any questions on how to set up the, the repo on your local machine, feel free to reach out and in the, in the next videos, um, we'll continue the development. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.